Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about five things you should never do on your driving test. If you're taking your driving test and you're trying to get your license, you should avoid doing these five things as much as you can. Let's get right to it. Number one is rolling a stop. Now, when you approach a stop sign, you should be coming to a complete stop. A bad habit that many drivers get into as they've had their license for many years is rolling a stop. And when you roll a stop, it's basically when you slow down and you're almost coming to a stop, but then you continue moving. You don't actually come to a complete stop. Now, it's a really bad habit and it can get you a ticket. And with that being said, if you do one on a driving test, you're going to lose some points. It is a horrible thing to do on a driving test. It's a horrible thing to show the driving examiner because you're showing them that you're already you already have a bad habit and you don't even have your license yet so with that being said don't roll a stop and that's number one of the pretty much the worst things that you can do on a driving test and that is rolling a stop number two swerve okay now when you're driving all of your lane changes all of your maneuvers all of your turns should be nice and smooth you don't want to be swerving Basically, when you switch lanes and when you turn, your driving examiner should basically stay upright. You shouldn't see them, you know, going to one side or the other. If you see them doing that, that means you're probably taking the turn too fast or you're changing lanes too aggressively. You're swerving. And that's not a good thing because if a driving examiner feels thrown around in the car, it's probably not good for your points and for your ability to pass the test, okay? Number three, do not get confused at a four-way stop. Now there are rules and rights of way when you come to a four-way stop depending on all of the other cars that are approaching the four-way stop with you. So with that being said, when you approach a four-way stop, come to a complete stop, know when your right of way is, and then proceed cautiously and safely through the intersection, okay? You should know when your right of way is with regards to a four-way stop. So I would recommend studying the four-way stops and, and who gets the rights of way in whichever situation as much as possible. Study, study, study them, and they will help you on a test because I'm sure that on your driving test, you're going to approach a four-way stop. It's very likely that you're going to have to stop at a four-way stop. And if you're there alone, and if there's no other cars around you, then you got lucky because you can just come to a complete stop. And if there's nobody else there, there, you can proceed as long as it's a four-way stop but if there's three other cars there that stopped at the same time as you then it's a little bit of a different story so with that being said study a four-way stop okay number four of things that you should never do on a driving test is merge too slowly or too fast on the highway now when you are merging onto the highway there is a proper way to do it with regards to the speed and when you should merge and the aggressiveness of your lane change and so forth now the worst things that you can do are number one speed up and you know be going like 130 kilometers an hour when the highway speed limit is only 100 that's one of the worst things that you can do or try and merge onto the highway only going 60 kilometers an hour when the highway speed limit is 100. You need to figure out the ideal speed that's not too fast and not too slow for merging onto the highway and look at the cars that you're merging with and use them as a gauge as well because it all depends on the speed and how congested the highway is with regards to the other cars that are already on the highway. And last but not least, number five, and this is something that a lot of people actually do pretty often on the driving test and you should avoid it as much as possible, driving too slowly now i know that when you're going to take your driving test you're afraid of speeding you don't want to drive too fast and that's completely a good fear to have that you don't want to go you know 60 kilometers an hour when the speed limit is only 50. you definitely don't want to do that but in the same token if the speed limit is 50 kilometers an hour you don't want to be driving 35. so you should avoid driving too slowly because that's going to hold up traffic and that's really going to affect the way that the driving examiner views your driving abilities and that's basically it in this video i've gone over five things that you should never do on your driving test i'm sorry i'm trying to avoid the sun just going right in my face i hope that you've enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it let me know what things that you want to avoid on your driving test or you did avoid when you did your driving test in the comment section down below and above all please be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching